The Archer is a 155 millimeter howitzer. It can hit targets at a staggering 31 miles away. It can be up and ready to go in just three seconds. It can deal with any weather condition, hot or cold. Nothing's going to stop the Archer. Heavy artillery was born to pound large areas. The idea is to surprise the enemy, then pummel him into the ground, giving him no chance to escape. And this amazing archer can pull out multiple arrows from its quiver to simultaneously attack. With a bit of computer number crunching and a little alteration of the barrel's angle of elevation, it can carry out what is known as multiple round simultaneous impact. If you can fire a shell at a high angle, it takes longer to reach the target than if you fire it at a low angle. By starting high and dropping the barrel between each shot, it's possible to time the launches so that anything up to five shells will all bombard the target at exactly the same time. Although it's simple in principle, multiple rounds simultaneous impact is actually extremely difficult to achieve, and only the most sophisticated systems have been able to demonstrate real results. Using this tactic, a couple of archers can land dozens of shells onto an enemy target within a time frame of about a second. No warning, no escape. They haven't got the time to go in, uh, in, into uh, protection or a foxhole or something like that. But how well does the Archer perform without the help of MRSI or the Excalibur GPS guided shell? Well, that's exactly what we want to find out. So we've set up a little challenge here at Bowdoin. Standard artillery rounds were never originally designed to be pinpoint accurate. They were meant to bombard a large area. The target? A regular car. It's placed just two miles away. Okay, it's not far by artillery standards, but then a car is much smaller than anything you would normally try to hit using a howitzer and a standard round. To understand this shot, imagine trying to hit an apple with a bow and arrow from 250 feet away. First, the crew identifies the target and locates its exact position. Then, the laser rangefinder determines the precise distance. Other factors such as wind speed are taken into account. The firing sequence is fine-tuned to an incredible degree of accuracy for this specific set of conditions. You can feel the tension. Finally, it's the moment of truth. Standard round from just two miles away, it only took three short seconds to hit and trash the target. <laughs>